Yeah, we've had a lot of really long games today. Fiora Shen. This is not going to be a fast one. Well, our hand's good. We're going to keep it. Turn two or turn three, Shivana. Turn four, Screeching Dragon. Does mobilize help? So right now I'm looking at turn three Shivana. I can still play turn three Shivana with, yeah, I can still just go mobilize on three and still play turn three Shivana. Um, so yeah, I just won't. I just don't get to don't get to play anything this turn. My shield is yours. Cool, we didn't really need to play anything this turn anyway. They would fall by my blade. Yeah, Brie screams longer because daylight savings time. Here, my time zone changed. Shroud the world in wings. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Let the blood boil, half dragon. Ooh. What's the fire breath this time? A soldier should know to stay out of the way. I am watching you, dragon. That's not bad on turn four having all these things in play. Ready weapons. Expecting repost. But I think they would want to save their Fiora with a repost. They could kill my dragon. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so. It's the same thing as repost. Still pretty good. Um, two of our cards. Or wait, no, we just lost one card, right? We just lost the 3-2 the Challenger, and they lost two units and a Spirit's Refuge. So we're up a card now, even though we, we played Mobilize that didn't really count as a card. We will see which of us is victorious. I think I have to pass. Like, I can't, I can't save Shivana and kill Fiora. So we're going to save Shivana. We're going to kill this thing. And I'll give the Fury... I'll give the Fury to my Screeching Dragon. Which I guess it would get either way. There are none like me. Yeah, I gotta save Shivana. Your move. I have the Shivana get the Fury this time. Now Shivana is healed. It's a five-six. The balance requires a watchful eye. I'll be a little surprised if they attack. River shape the land and give it life. Well, maybe they will just to be able to strike with River Shaper. That would cost them their Shen. I guess I could have just oh I should have just single combat right here and just I should have single combat right there while they only had one mana. So 
what I should have done. Kill the Shen. Still lots of fight spells. Strike, we will reform. My life for these lands. We walk between realms. Nature blesses her followers. Yep. Need to kill that Shen. That's gonna cost me. Not killing that Shen right there. Stand United is so great. Sure, we're probably still fine. A gift from the river folk. So we knew that now they just drew a spell. I long for a worthy opponent. So that's gonna be another spell they'll draw. So they got two spells in hand. Everything I've worked for. I wish Shivana's champion spell was was just the the fight card. I feel like it could be. I just block with this Shivana and play a new one. It won't have the plus three plus three though. Let's play Infinite Mind Splitter and just stun that thing and then pass. I was, yeah, you know, I was thinking that could go a really soul. No, because they could just have a fight spell and kill my Mind Splitter. Probably go Aurelian Soul. They think themselves cultured. <laughs> and I could have I could give the Aurelian Soul challenge. Challenger. Can fly, Rib. Okay, okay. Oh. Fire. Or I can just challenge this thing and now their 9-9 has to block either my 9-5 or my 10-10. <laughs> and I get my three mana. For the strafing strike. So you with like barriers, we get to do a little bit of fighting to try to stop barriers. Yeah, repose like takes down my team, but um Quickly. Yeah, that's That's the best card to have. It takes down my team, but at least we'll kill the Bright Steel formation. Yeah, we know that with the the river shaper they had some multiple spells. Yuck. I uh, really in soul being gone means that my supernova now doesn't do anything cuz I, I don't I'm not going to be holding another celestial card. That was the only way to have a celestial card. Back up Mind Splitter, not bad. They gotta have fight card here, or they're dead. And even if they do have if they do have fight card, then I have another mind splitter. Alright, they had fight card. Always two steps. 
steps ahead. All right, it's done those. For the honor of House Laurent. Counter and strike. Now they're hoping I didn't block. Man, close. My attention. Close game, but it's looking good for us now. But very close game. Now they'll pay attention. Behold my true form. Show them what comes of taming a dragon. GG's. Okay, that one. <laughs> Another very long close game. Dragons have no remorse. Got two Twisted Fate decks on the docket. We got this one, then we also have Twisted Callista. They're pretty different. The Twisted Callista is very Shadow Isles uh, based, and it and it uh, has a Bilgewater mostly for um, oh, the 7 5 C monster that makes treasures Shipwreck Order. Ship recorder. So like it's it's gonna be like a Callista ship recorder combo deck. Alright, anyway, we're playing against Trundle, Aurelian Soul, Trendemir. Okay, okay. We're gonna keep all of these. Um, I like having the Fizz right away and like the warning shot to protect Fizz. Shared spoils for whenever Fizz hits them. Because yeah, I was, was not expecting them to do anything on turn one. So we do this, now we go shared spoils. That's a good start. Still keeping the warning shot to protect Fizz. From Vi Oh wait. They're going Targon, so no Vile Feast, so. More Avalanche. Alright, didn't draw a three mana unit. Hey that hand. Can't say no to Fizz. This is really scary. Turn three ramp, turn four ramp. It's very scary. It's even scarier now. Yep, and they do have the eight mana card. What am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> that doesn't seem very fair. Never lost a fair game or played one. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're not playing a fair game either this time, Twisted Fate. Just for the other for the other reason. Looked incredible. In in Alright, so we'll play Harsh Winds this turn. Harsh Winds, of course, is six mana. So we'll still have Harsh Winds available if I play Sprayfin. I think I want to do that post combat though, so that I get to attune and get the one mana from attuning. So I can keep one thing alive with my Elixir of Iron. I can either keep Twisted Fate or 
the 3 3 spray fin alive. And I guess it's the 3 3 spray fin. We're not that far away from leveling up Twisted Fate, but we'd have to draw kind of well. Yeah, their hand was nice. Yeah, that, that would have helped do it to level up Twisted Fate. Alright, so we got 10 damage in. Down to eight. Never mind. All right, down to ten. atrocity. We don't have to worry about that. You can't do this. Why are you here? Um So our Fizz is leveled up. All right, save all these. I think we're going to get this. We'll have to see, of course, but I feel pretty good about getting this. I don't really want to tap under a troll chant. As far as that is concerned. We see through all. I'm planning on playing the other Fizz. Mm. Okay, just two life. I think we got this. Good that wasn't, you know, like in, in a really in soul. Alright, GG's. 1-0. The, the ocean wins again. Alright, let's see. Quinn Misfortune. So I like Jettison, Shield Bear, Twisted Fate. I like all of that. Well, Nautilus is good, of course. But I guess, so I guess we'll keep it. <laughs> so we'll just keep our hands. It may be better for us to play Shield Bear on three. Okay, never mind. Now we definitely have just Shield Bear on two and Shield Bear on three. So that's fine. The thing is, I don't know if I want Shield Bear to die to Fleet Feather Tracker. So can we just get away with just going Dredge Dredgers first? Maybe you wait until like Twisted Fate, like Red Card, clears up some stuff. Maybe. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. My faith protects me. I think we go red card. Scorching light. 
Okay. The ocean charts our course. This didn't play out how I thought it would. Ours is the one true light. The enemies of day will fall. Playing the jettison right now, of course, because we have the extra mana now. So we're not wasting the mana. Always forward. So I'm trying to think what happens if they play if they play Quinn. Like I can block here, I go red card, but then they play Quinn. They're still nine away from deep. The guilty will bear. I guess I'm passing. <sighs> Just have no opportunity for Twist of Fate. I don't know. This has been kind of weird. I don't feel like I've sequenced this very well over the last few turns. I'm just wasting so much mana. That's what I don't like. So that levels up Misfortune, so that's probably game. No regrets, I guess that's a pretty no big downside to what we got going on. We can't kill Misfortune. Why is just not everything attacking? Like, if I'm them, I'm definitely having Protégé just challenge and then just attacking with these other two. And doing a lot more damage and then it just kills the Protégé. Hey, Godzona, Godzona Low. Thanks for the very kind message. I'm a people person. Welcome to the stream. My shield is yours. Mm, you're cute when you're armed. Firepower's always in style. To show you the sides of build water. The sights are fine. The All right, we gotta hope this works. Okay, that worked. Just like Honey Thresher, but we're not dead yet. You'll pay. Not dead yet. So this will draw a card, make us five away from deep. We'll play the, the Slaughter Docks. So maybe we won't play the Slaughter Docks. Let's see what we get. Maybe we just need another Solari Soldier for a blocker? No prey. Oh, no. Well, all right. Uh, I, I guess I'll just play it out. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. Ahead. That jettison was an amazing draw. It was basically the only draw we could have. Alright, so actually... I'm gonna block here... Because I don't want I don't want my Devourer Depths to have one health and they be able to challenge it with Misfortune. The water if they if they do challenge it with Misfortune, you know it's a seven seven. That Jettison was a perfect draw. You're covered. Gross. That's not good though. Alright, 
down to four. Cool, not a rally. And that's a great draw. Forward, forward. I can use that on Misfortune. We're not out of this yet. I need to do this now before they just go right to open attacks and, and deal three to me. I am going to cast the Jettison as well to make it more likely that I draw another Nautilus. Right, like I don't really want to draw those cards. <clears throat> I know those are the cards at the bottom, but it maybe doesn't make it more likely for just this turn, but still. I'm going to obliterate them. Not cards I want to draw. Alright, GG's. 1-0. I don't I don't care that we could toss sea monsters. We had the Puff Cat Peddler, which that's the most important card. And that card that card was very good. But didn't have very much help. Alright, new hand. Yeah, this looks like slow control deck. We we want like all of our puff cap stuff. None of those first cards were any of our puff cap stuff. This is where we want Teemo, Puff Cap Peddler, Better Investigator. You know, like those are our cards that our decks built around. All right, good Mystic Shot. Trade two drop for two drop. Keep them from ramping. Gotcha. I'm through waiting. Yeah, I've definitely played decks with Mitted Stoke Henchmen before. It's probably been a few months since I have. Um, but yeah, every every card that was in like the first set we've definitely played. Um, decks with them. Maybe not all of the newer cards, but. Yeah, we played some Midden Stoke. All right, so they they do have eight mana, or sorry, they do behold an eight plus cost card. Is what I am trying to say. Saving these mushroom clouds because we do draw a peddler. It will be better with the peddler. I could give it the chain vest also and and then like single combat and take down both of these. Here comes the punchline. King of trolls coming through. I could see them having vengeance. I could see Stony Suppressor stopping a vengeance. So let's see, we want to do... Let's cast one of these. Oh, that's a harvest right there. And then Stony. Oh wait, why, why would they have Vengeance? They're not Shadow Isles. <laughs> I'm just so used to playing Trundle Shadow Isles. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Well... Yeah, my bad. Worked out perfectly. See, we stopped. I mean, they couldn't cast Vengeance. <laughs> Is it the boosters? Oh, no. I think I may just single combat and kill Braum. That's probably worth it. Teemo. 
So we're looking for Peddler and Insightful Investigator. Those are our two real important cards. Those are the two cards that we want to see. Excuse you. They walked around. Prepared for anything. Thought me smell something. Did you know they have another A plus cost card that's not just the ice pillar that they had earlier? Okay, so I want to play two mushroom clouds before hitting them so that Teemo would be leveled up. That means if I play Insightful Investigator first, that's gonna cost, you know, like four mana. So we'd have, we'd have three extra mana for the two uh, fleeting cards, which may mean that we won't be able to play them, but maybe we do. Maybe we could, you know, maybe it's like a... You know, maybe we could. It's all here. I also assume that they're gonna be leading with Ice Pillar. Okay, maybe not. And that would mean... Love to smell of mushrooms in the morning. Yes, of course. Success is planting your mushrooms. See, it's working. I'll scout ahead. We got our combo getting more fleeting cards with the stony suppressor and the mushroom clouds. Working. We drew a new two drop to play. No, my peddler. That's all right. We, you just pretend like that peddler is down at the bottom of the deck. They're all random anyway. The facts falling. I love the smell of mushrooms in the Another morning. Another clump of lumps. a good boy. Into a mystic shot. So now if they have five one challenge, I'm insightful funny. investigator. In Avarosa's name. I don't think that's too great. I mean, I think that's definitely worth it. What, what we've been doing. I haven't. I don't regret any decision I made with Insightful Investigator yet. I think we've. I think we've played it perfectly with Insightful Investigator. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. No overwhelm. So that's cool. All right, you can block here. We're gonna Mystic Shot you. Um, I do want you to draw cards. It's just, do I want you to draw the cards yet? So yeah, like, am I, am I blocking yet? I don't think I want you to draw the cards yet. The thing I'm worried about is taking two damage in case they give this Braum Overwhelm. That's, that's kind of the thing that I'm a little worried about. And I'm just gonna save the three man until next turn. All right, another insightful investigator. Churn through our deck pretty quickly. I think we do that. Let's go. Uh, that's not good. They think themselves cultured. No, that's not good. And that would mean. Thirty-seven. Peddler. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. Wait. Okay, so no room for this jury rig. Seventeen. I cast Rummage. We get <clears throat> two new cards, but then we also toss two cards. So that puts down to thirteen cards. Thirteen's a little risky. Yes, of course. I'm sorry, Timo. 
So just going to 15 instead of casting that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's not good losing a Teemo. If they do not kill us this turn, I think we win. I think this is like the turn they have to kill us. Yeah, double veteran investigator. I'm I'm pretty sure we win as long as as long as they don't like so hopefully like no overwhelm. I mean they have this, this thing has overwhelm. But Darn. I don't like that. And that would mean Alright, we're gonna have another peddler. Good. All right, so we could, we could keep Stony alive. Um, I don't think we need to keep Stony alive anymore, though. I think I want one mana thing, so. We're good here. So hopefully no overwhelm. All right, I feel very good about winning this game now. With 12 cards, I think we're okay with the one Insightful Investigator. I think we're still good there. Vi's going away. I'm not playing Vi. Vi doesn't really matter. <clears throat> 57. Cause so, hopefully we can find our other Teemo and hit him with the Teemo. We just got to get them to draw 11 puff caps. I think we can do it. Now they'll pay attention. Hmm. What seems to be the situation? There's Timo. Just in time. I found something. All right, I got 4. Huh. So that's going to be my Puff Cap Peddler gone. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so yeah, so we're going to just cast this for three more. They grow up so fast. Cast this for three more. Hoping Teemo strikes him. No. All right, it's gonna be more difficult. Stand is hard. An expert is at work. What a great draw. All right. See, told y'all I felt pretty good as long as we didn't die that last turn. Even leveled up a really soul obliterating everything. There we go, GG's. <laughs> no sweat. Three and one. Still a... Ugh, oh, same matchup. We are playing the longest games today. All right, we'll just have our pickpocket. We're gonna have the twin disciplines protect. Pickpocket. What are those Poro Cannons doing in here? I haven't figured that, that out yet. Good, no Vile Feast. Yoink. Yoink. That was the first card we took last time, too. Take a stance and hold it. Like We're in a tough spot here whether to block or not. Alright, they did. Down to 13. Come on in. Am I casting this dragon's protection? I think so. You're under our protection. You can see the Nebastian border from here. 
I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this Poro Cannon. It does count as multiple cards. Yeah, I was hoping that we could... Yeah, so like, this doesn't nab them the out of their deck. But I was kind of hoping that we would find... Like, War Mother's Call. Like, that would be a pretty cool card. To get. It's another really good avalanche. Yet another really good avalanche. Eminently logical. Ladies, where are you? Hmm. That egg, did it move? Man, they got the blockers. I haven't really seen Hapless Aristocrat too much in this kind of deck. But yeah, Hapless Aristocrat, Kindly Tavern Keeper. Maybe they're not War Mothers. Like, th these aren't cards you want to play in War Mothers. So maybe they're not War Mothers? What will you have? See, I want to use my flash freeze later. You know, like, we could use Will of Ionia there too, but I don't think that's a very good play. I think we just wait, I guess. We're at 8 for Subpercival. If I don't want Kinku Life Blade out there, I could I could discard Kinku Life Blade to Poro Cannon, and that's nine, and then play a Daring Poro, that's ten, and then play Subversible, or I get the Elusive Life Steal. Step Probably want the Elusive Life Steal. I go unseen. The do do of course always need to worry about Ruination like this. Don't want to extend too too much. All right, Choo Choo, have a great night. Thank you so much. All right, that gives me number 10. So where we're at, we're at 9 out of 12. So I could also discard the turret and make two Daring Poros. But I think the turret's better. Like, the tough is a good blocker against these hapless aristocrats that are pretty annoying. Dragon's Rage. One smack will do. Ice Pillar is so good. This is the card they need to tune down, not really Trundle. Just gonna let them kill my 6 1. Go down to 4. I don't really like that. Trying to Vengeance Heimerdinger still? Yeah, Heimerdinger is about to level up. I can bounce Heimerdinger. I, I think I have to let it go. I think this, this Poro Cannon should probably be something else. A card that does something. Guess it. 
Ren Shadowblade. Meow, meow, meow. Alright, 16. Uh, the good news is they are they are wasting a ton of spells, right? Like they don't have very much left. They are using a ton of these um, these frostbite spells and everything. Get ready for a beat down. All right, we're going to try to make a, a new sub -percival. Be impatient on the recall trundle. That recall trundle may be something I need to save Pursuit of Perfection, like my catastrophe. And that's why I didn't Will of Ionia before. Wanted to be able to save it for that. King of Trolls coming through. If they have something that stops this pursuit of perfection, I'm in a lot of trouble. I think this is my best play. It's like, what if they Ruination? I guess they don't have very many cards left either. If they Ruination, I'd have a Static Shock to draw a card. We have Dragon's Rage next turn. Nothing escapes my watch. Yeah, I think so. I'm not I'm not gonna be killing the Avaros and Sentry. Of course, I don't want them drawing a card. Alright, not bad. All right, I think that means we're going to win. I'm feeling the rush. Feeling the rush. Dragon's Rage, a 30-30. Get this 10-10 out of here. Let's go. That was pretty easy. Wow. All three of these games have been insane.